Good morning, YouTube. Today's project, we will be installing a Evolution Power catch can for my 2023 Can MX3. So the Evo catch can kit, this is all the parts that it comes with. It's obviously the catch can, the uh, filter, and then the, uh, the screen for the filter. Uh, these two clamps, this one, and this little uh, little plug for the uh, intake. Um, these require a specific tool, which I didn't have. So the tools that we're going to be using is just a regular flathead. And then these, uh, I guess, crimp style pliers. Got it from Amazon, seven bucks, so pretty cheap but uh let's go on with the install one other tool i forgot to mention was allen keys to attach the catch can to the actual frame of the uh x3 what i'm gonna be using is this hi this is harbor freight's icon allen key set this is a very handy tool it has all the allen keys that i, that I need phillips flatheads star pattern um, this thing is pretty legit from Harbor Freight it's around like 50 bucks you know it's a ratchet um, you could adjust it from right over here extension make this thing longer if you wanted to if you wanted an, an ex extension here it is right here this thing is uh, pretty legit. If you guys haven't checked it out, go to Harbor Freight to uh, pick one of these up and uh, put this in one of your door bags whenever you're uh, going out for a trail ride or whatever. And if anything breaks, you need some Allen keys or uh, Torx bits, this is your kit right here. So for the install, I'm gonna be basically attaching the catch can to right here on my cage, right? I have to put it here because the hose that I'm gonna be attaching is right over here that I need to take off from the uh, intake. So from the intake, if you go inside the middle, right here, if you look at the intake, which is right over here, there's this hose right over here that needs to get taken off with uh, Phillips and then reroute it over there to the catch can. So right now we'll just take off this hose, cap it, and then route, reroute the hose over to the catch can. All right, so far right now we got the breather hose off and you can see at the bottom of that hose, there's a lot of oil at the end of that hose. This is why we're doing an oil catch can. So right now I'm gonna cap this part off right over here and then reroute that hose. As you can see, the pinch clamp is on there. It's nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. Now let's switch over to the catch can. All right, so as you can see, so we what we did was just reroute the uh, hose to the driver's side. All right, and what I'm gonna do is place the catch can roughly just like this and then attach the breather hose to the side of the uh, catch can and then the uh, install will be done. All right, install is complete. It is clamped down on the cage. It's not going anywhere. The hose is right there. I'm gonna just tie it up, uh, zip tie it, make sure it's not caught anything. Uh, one thing that I've uh, had to do is I had to remove a zip tie from right over here where my flashlight is lighting up. And, and then I uh, removed this uh, hose to my uh, my belt. Besides that, uh, that was basically everything I had to do to install this uh, catch can. One thing to note is uh, this extra hose clamp that I have. I don't know what it's for, but it was uh, left over. Uh, other mods that I'm gonna be doing to this is, you know, something simple, uh, the shifter, beauty panel uh, I installed these uh, DRT handles 
and also what I'm working on right now is this right here. So when I'm going to Glamis and I need tools to uh, work on my side by side if I ever break down, I have uh, mounted this Plano bow case and then uh, it's not done just yet, but as you can see, foam, everything, spare belt. I'm just gonna put all the general tools I need for all, all inside here and then um, I'll be ready to go in just in case something ever happens to me on the trail. It's gonna clip, clip on in right over here. But yeah, it's sturdy mountain. It's not going anywhere. But if you have any questions, comments uh, about the catch can or my future mods, let me know. I'll, I'll put a link in the description of all the parts and tools I, I used and what I have done to this uh, side by side. Please uh, subscribe, like, thanks.